All right, guys, what's going on? It's Chivo Supremo here, and I know it's been a minute, but my in-laws have been in town, and I didn't want to do any recording or anything while they were here, so but they're gone back to Alabama now, so we are back in action here, and we're going to get things going with some quick gets. We got some pickups to go through, so let's dive into them. So since the last time I did one of these, there's been some buy two, get one free stuff going on at GameStop, and I've done a big trade-in with eStarland, and I got some stuff in that I ordered with some of that trade credit. So let's get into all this stuff. And the first thing we're going to start off with is a Facebook deal that went down. All right. So if you guys have been keeping up with the channel, you know that I live in a community that has a Facebook page. And on that Facebook page, I went ahead and said, hey, I look for video games. If anyone's got any they want to sell or get rid of, just hit me up. And about a week or two weeks ago, I've been in contact with a guy who wanted to sell me some Game Boy and Game Boy Pocket stuff. So these are those items. First thing was this Game Boy Pocket, and it's got, you can see that little nick on the screen there, but you can change these screens really easily. The thing is, uh, they made two variants of these. There's a variant that's made in China and another one here that's made in Japan. And the screen replacements I see have the black on there. And I will show you guys on this other Game Boy Pocket that I did already order and change the screen for that is nice and clean because this had a black one on it. I don't see any replacement screens for these silver uh, kind, so don't really know how I'm gonna fix that one, but yeah, we got these two Game Boy Pockets and we have a yellow Game Boy Color and they are all in great shape besides the screen from this one. But yeah, all have the back covers and everything. So awesome stuff to add to the collection there and it came with some games. The first set of these games are doubles for me and those are Go Go Tank, Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle 2. That actually had the manual with it as well. And we also had Super Off-Road with the manual as well. But the rest of these were, well, besides this one, I just wanted to show this one off because I do have this one, but I have the English copy. This is actually a Chinese copy of Wario Land, Super Mario Land 3. This is not a bootleg, it is an official cartridge. I took it apart just to check just a Chinese version. Then we have Super Mario Land. The one that I was most excited about was this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 back from the sewers. And this was actually a double two Donkey Kong Land. So yeah, awesome Facebook deal with this guy. He also said he had a 64 that he's gonna dig up and we're gonna make a deal on later on down the road. So really cool stuff. Oh, and quick add on, it actually came with two Game Boy Pocket carrying cases. All right, guys, so the E-Star Land trade-in. I had a PS3 Super Slim that's been sitting around, and E-Star Land gives over 120 bucks for one of those. That's uh, with all the plugs and everything. I don't know if that's changed now, but when I did it, that's what it was. And that's something that I couldn't even sell online for like 70 bucks. So it was a no-brainer to go ahead and trade that in, along with a lot of other slow-moving games that people just really don't want that were all doubles that were sitting here collecting dust until the next convention I could vendor at, which is in November. But I went ahead and added it to this trade. And with some of the credit, which was over $300, we got some of these games right here. Adding to the Wii U collections with Mighty Number no. 9 and with the Walking Dead Survival Instinct. And then Freakstyle, we snatched a GameCube game. This is one that I had the PS2 demo for when I had my PS2 when I first bought it way back in the day. And I loved playing that demo, and I never had the full game. Now I finally had the full game, I cannot wait to dive into it. Now there was one more game, I'm gonna try to zoom in on this to see if you guys can see it. Um, but you can see there, Super Mario Land All-Stars Mario World used no manual. Now East Star Land, when they put something down and they categorize it, if it says used with no manual, that means it should come with a box. It's just missing the manual. And they were only asking 50 bucks for this, which if it had the box, that is a great price. So I said, you know what? Let's take a gamble on that. But when it came in and I, of course, opened my package, it was just a cart only copy of the game. So I've already done a return and already sent that back in the mail. So you won't be seeing that, but they're going to give me all my credit back for that. And it just stinks because I was really hoping I was going to get that for 50 bucks to add to the wall back here behind me, but it was a no-go. Real quick, just another one that you guys have already seen if you watch my most recent short, but we had Dusty Diamonds here, All-Star Softball, and I've been playing a lot of this since I picked it up. It's a really fun NES, like uh, baseball, softball game, 
and it, it is like a, a rare sports game that you can get on the nes so it was awesome to come across it and i really enjoyed that it's a good game but man I, this guy computer cheats me man we get to like the ninth inning or the seventh inning you only do seven innings in this game and i can be up by five runs and all of a sudden they just go on a tear and i still end up losing so really enjoy it but it can be tough all right now to some gamestop stuff and i'm not sure if i even showed these yet i know you've been seeing them in the background probably here on my shelf if you paid attention but that is pokemon gold and silver that were on sale on the website if you go to the retro section they were only like 40 bucks a piece and i was like you know what it's worth the gamble to snatch these things so they came in these are authentic they came in real they just needed battery switches and you know what i had extra batteries here swapped them out a-ok -okay. everything went smooth so awesome working copies for only 40 bucks a piece and speaking of pokemon we found another cheap one just while going into the store and looking into the uh, glass case someone traded in a bunch of pokemon stuff and they had pokemon soul silver sitting in there uh the manager working said that there were some other pokemon stuff in there but someone already bought it but for some reason they left this one again you see the price tag on it i'm a pro member 71 bucks part only of this goes for like 120 to 130 so that was an awesome grab from gamestop really cool i know we're doing gamestop but this was at walmart when i went by there they had it for 20 bucks on ps5 dragon ball xenoverse 2 i don't know if this has like all the add-on stuff with it i'm guessing it doesn't but i already owned it on the switch and played a good amount of it but i wanted to get it on the ps5 just to get the better graphics and frame rates and stuff and just to see like what the difference would be so i really enjoy the xenoverse games and i want to plug this back in and dive into it and get going again all right i had started filming uh some of this from gamestop because this was online orders for a lot of these and this next one was a big one uh this game popped up and it was in stock and i believe it was only 82 or 92 bucks at the time and that is silent hill 2 but the gamble you take with gamestop is are you going to get a complete box copy you're just going to get a disc well, when I was sticking my hand down into that bag and I pulled it up, I was feeling good at first. But no, no case art. But because it felt heavy, it did have the manual and the disc in it, black label. So we almost got it. But again, it's missing the case art. But still, we have a copy of Silent Hill 2 to hold us off until we find a complete box copy. All right, the next up, the most of this stuff was part of the buy two, get one. We'll fly through some of this. Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. I've owned that like three different times already, and I keep trading it in. Digimon World Next Order. This time, we got us a complete and boxed copy of Tales of Zestaria. Resident Evil Revelations. I love Resident Evil, and I'm, I just try to buy every copy on every system. I already have 3DS and Wii U copy, but want to play through on the playstation so i can get them trophies then we'll finish off with some wii u stuff that we took the gamble for online and luckily these all came in complete in box ducktales remastered tekken tag tournament and the nes remix pack so really solid turnout during that order of gamestop online purchases other than the Silent Hill 2, everything else kind of worked out though. So there we go, some quick gets, even though this might not have went too quick, but you're kind of all caught up and updated on everything I've added to the collection. So let me know if you guys have bought anything new recently and I'll catch you guys in the next one.